Hello dear friends, welcome back once again. Today we're going to solve this cubic equation and we will solve for both real and complex solutions, right? Okay, let's start. We have here solution. So we have here x to the power of 3 minus 1 here is same as 1 to the power of 3 and this is equal to 0. So from the left hand side, we're going to make use of the difference of two cubes formula. Remember, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, so make use of this property. The left hand side will become x minus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x times 1, which is x plus 1 squared, which is 1, and this is equal to 0. So, if these two products is equal to 0, so we have either x minus 1 is equal to 0, or from this we have x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, from here we have the real solution that x is equal to 1, right? Okay, so from here let us solve this quadratic equation. They are going to make use of the general quadratic formula. So, x will be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac then divided by 2 times a right so if you if you carefully look at this expression on the left hand side of this equation so we realize that a is equal to the leading coefficient the leading term the coefficient which is 1 and b here is the coefficient of x which is 1 and c the constant is also 1 okay so here we have x is equal to negative b will be negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared will be 1 squared which is 1 minus 4 times a times c which is 4 then divided by 2 times 1 which is 2. So we, here we have the complex solution negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2. Okay, so from here we have x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus First of all, square root of negative 1 is iota, right? Then we have root of 3 right over there, then divided by 2. So these are the two complex solutions. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.